Hello and welcome to yet another unboxing. This time I'm unboxing my new phone. And I bought like a phone oops, from a brand that you don't hear a lot about. It is the Ulephone Armor 11 phone that I bought. And the brand is Ulephone, if I didn't make that clear. And uh, this is a rocket phone with 5G uh, capabilities and uh, a night vision camera and uh, overall a decent camera. It's, it been, uh, it's been getting uh, some praise, so I thought like Fuck it, I'm gonna buy this. I pre-ordered this phone and because I was one of the first 500 buyers, I got it cheap and I also got like a, a what do you call wireless charging thing with it. And I'm gonna unbox it and I'll play around with it for a couple of days. I should probably say straight away, I'm not a tech guy. I cannot uh, get in any details about the tech stuff because I don't care about that. The three things that I care about when I bought this is, uh, does it have a decent camera? Is uh, it's rugged and Dirt fucking cheap, or at least as cheap as possible, because daddy ain't got any money. So we gotta we gotta do what we what we can. And I am really excited to open this bad bar here. The box it I mean it feels pretty heavy. Uh, unfortunately there's a small dent in here, but it was shipped all the way from Hong Kong, so I don't know what to expect when it's shipped so far away. And I caught some beer with me today. And so I just open it like this. Whoa. There we have it. My new phone. Pick it up and it is big, decent size. Here you can see how it looks. Some stuff it has. It has IP69K slash IP68 proof, which I think it means uh, water and dust proof. I'm not sure. Media Tech Dimensity 800. I know idea what that means. Rear camera is a 48 megapixel and a 28 plus 20. I'm starting over. Rear camera is 48 megapixel plus 20 megapixel plus 13 megapixel plus 2 megapixel plus 2 megapixel. There are shit tons of camera on this one. <laughs> 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 uh, uh, gigabytes ROM. If NFC plus goggle play, wireless charging, uh, the battery is 5200 mAh, which is like, I looked that up, that's about twice as much as my current phone has. So that's, it's not the biggest you can get. I was looking at another phone also that had a, like 8000 uh, mAh, whatever that means. And uh, so it's not the biggest you can get, but it's not for me. It's twice as much as my current phone, and my current phone like lasts me for over a day in power, so that's fine. And it has Android 10, and you can install Android 11 in time when that comes. And let's pick up this plastic here. That is so satisfying. Oh yeah, look at that phone. And the back here, with all you can see, Let's pick up this plastic, and I really like this one phone because, like, when you look at some of the rocket phone you can get uh, uh, places, they are <laughs> they look really dumb. Like again, it's the same thing I have like uh, gaming laptops and PCs. They look like they're made for kids. This one is very sleek in its design, and it is opening up. So uh, <laughs> pressed a button or something. I am gonna wait. We're doing this for now. I'm just gonna put it into sleep mode. And let's look what else is in this box. Pick that up. We got some uh, tempered glass. Something we can put over the, uh, you can see, put over the screen. If it's not sturdy enough as it is, which it probably is. A couple of uh, manual right here. We got a joystick adapter, but I'm using a Bluetooth headset, so I'm probably not going to use this for now. We got, oh, I think these are things you can plug in in the uh, in the charge cable and uh, where else to like make it completely waterproof, or at least as waterproof as possible. And then we have the oopsie, the charging cable, which seems like have a decent length. And uh, it's red, which I love. Red is my favorite color, so that is an awesome sign. I forget to drink my beer. Ah. 
Let's see. Oh, come on, get off. And oh well, I guess it's like a normal size cable for a phone. Maybe a, maybe a little longer than my current my current phone. Let me just show you that one. It is a Samsung Xcover 4, which uh, like my last uh, Samsung phone was an Xcover 3, which I which was a first for me because I always have my phone until it breaks. And uh, the last one just wouldn't break. I had it for years after years after years, and I just this was the first phone phone I ever bought because I just wanted a new phone. Uh, and this is the second one because this one, even though it still works, it got like cracks in places you don't want cracks, <laughs> and uh, it's losing its leathers. It's getting really really slow and just it's not a fun experience to use anymore. The camera, like compared to other phones, it's just really shit. So I got a new one and. Uh, there's like a size difference if I can get used to the get used to this little bigger and a lot thicker. So this one you're gonna feel in your pocket. You cannot miss this. And uh, yeah. Oh yeah, there was also this thing because I was one of the first 500 buyers. I got this wireless charge thing. Whoops, which I have never tried to have for a phone before. So I'm not sure how that works. And uh, yeah, I mean I guess you just put your phone on. Oops. There was the charging cable, so not completely wireless, because how could you do that? Not yet. And here's the thing. So I guess you're just supposed to put it, your phone on top of this thing and it's going to recharge, as fast as I know. As I said, I have not any experience with uh, wireless recharging. Um, I did experience, because honestly, this makes it wired, so it's not wireless. It's just, <laughs> it's just <laughs> recharging without plugging in your phone, I guess. But, uh, oh, fuck my, why is this plastic sitting on so well? There you go. This feels a little more solid than a 4. When you look at it online, it looks a little cheapy, so I was afraid this was going to be uh, not that great. But it feels solid. And the phone overall also just feels like really solid and nice and uh, can't wait to play around with it. Now, I'm going to play around with this for a couple of days. If you haven't seen the camera side yet, there we go. It's already gotten a little dusty because I put it on my tablecloth and that thing might need a, <laughs> a washing. And I'm, yes, as I said, I was, I'm going to play around with this thing for a couple of days. I'm really excited to test out the uh, night vision camera and uh, see how that is and uh, if it's something that can be fun to use. So yeah, I will return in a few days, which will just be a couple of seconds for you guys. So uh, see you there. I am back and it's been a couple of days and I'm ready to talk about my experience with my new phone and uh, let's just start from a beginning. Uh, with the phone came like a screen protector which uh, as you can see I did a terrible job of putting on. I did it wrong first when I put it on then I had to take it off and try to put it on again and that's what left this uh, little airy hole or <laughs> airy hole that, that sounds kind of dirty on the top here but uh, uh, one, once the screen is on, you don't really notice it that much when there's light in it. So I'm probably going to buy a new screen protector sometime in the near future, but please bear in mind that that is completely my own fault and uh, not anything to do with the phone or the screen protector. But let's talk about uh, the screen protector again, because it's a super clear, lovely screen protector and um, the phone is still super responsive and that is really great. And had it not been for this uh, airy part in the top there, I would not even notice it was on. So a uh, great screen protector that comes with your phone. And uh, yeah, good recommendation for that. Now a little thing that bothered me is the uh, SIM card uh, holder. Uh, when you put take that out, it's kind of stuck in there really rough. I'm not even going to try to take it out again. Because uh, I almost snapped it taking it out. So be careful, be careful when you try and put in your SIM card because it's annoying to break that part immediately even on a rugged phone it's like embarrassing to say that you uh, <laughs> broke it in it in the first day which I was this close to do but I managed to like uh, hold it together and put the SIM card in and I'm probably never ever gonna take that out because I feel like I'm gonna break the uh, card holder if I do that so uh, bear in mind for that and uh, yeah, other than that, the uh, handling, like this is phone, like compared to my old phone, it's like twice as big and three times as heavy or something like that. It is a massive phone and uh, I was afraid it was going to feel awful to walk around with in your pocket. Uh, honestly, I didn't really notice it that much. I, I mean, I definitely did feel it when I was not carrying it. Sometimes when I carry my own phone, uh, I would sometimes forget that I had it on me. This time, this one, you're not, you, you don't doubt that you're carrying it but uh, it's not bothering you that much. It is however like a, 
if you're not used to a phone of this size, it is it is kind of much to carry if you're sitting and playing a video game on your phone uh, <laughs> for like 10, 20 minutes or something like that. You you, you get tired and you uh, pinky finger, especially if you're the type of person who rests your phone on your pinky finger, it's gonna get tired. But uh, again, uh, just if you put your phone down and play like on the table, it's not a problem. But <laughs> I still feel like I wanted to mention it. It's probably gonna be a bad phone to carry if you like to go jogging because of the weight and you can feel like move around too much uh, and probably also if you like to, uh, have it on a strap or something it's probably gonna be an annoying weight to carry around for like sports and stuff like that. Luckily I'm not this sporty kind of guy so that's not really gonna be a big problem for me even though I do like to jog once in a while under a blue moon but uh, I'm not done that yet with this phone. <laughs> now the speaker on the phone, I mean let's let me just uh, uh, stress this out as much as possible as I can. I am not a tech guy. I know nothing about tech. This is this phone and these opinions are just me and myself and uh, from a very unqualified person to talk about tech. So let me get this off straight away. I know nothing about tech. But anyways, let's talk about the speaker of this phone. Uh, it ha it's a decent speaker. Uh, uh, I feel like, however, my old phone was a bit more forgiving. See, I like to listen to a lot of podcasts, and uh, not all podcasts are made by people who know how to do a great uh, amount of uh, audio editing. I don't know how to do a great amount of audio editing either. And I feel like my old phone was a little more forgiving with when the audio would spike or sometimes the quality would uh, be not that great. I feel like here, here it shows very clearly when the quality is bad. And uh, I don't know if that's the phone's fault or probably the... Uh, <laughs> the podcast people's editing the that show fall, but I, I have no problem. I think the sound comes off clear and lovely on the um, on the uh, on the speaker. If I'm listening to music or audiobooks or Audible, so uh, it, it's a fine. I'm gonna show a little sample of it now. None of us, I imagine, slept very heavily or continuously that morning, for both the excitement of Lake's discovery and the mounting fury of the wind were against such a thing. So savage was the blast, even where we were, that we could not help wondering how much worse it was at Lake's camp. Another little problem I have with it is the uh, recharge spot in the bottom here. Um, you can put in your cable like both ways, and one way and another, and that's kind of bad. I don't know if that's good for the uh, electronics inside because many times you just like, especially these uh, uh, newer kinds of uh, recharging, I forgot what they're called, <laughs> uh, it's hard to see which way it's gonna have to turn. And uh, honestly the jack stick adapter, I used that to hook uh, my phone up to my car radio so I can listen to my podcast at work and I honestly thought it didn't work because I put it in and it just plopped in fine without any problems. Uh, but I couldn't get it to connect with the radio and I thought it was just the uh, jack stick adapter that broke. But it was cut because I had turned it around, like put it in the wrong way. But if it just clicked in like it was supposed to do and it didn't feel wrong and didn't look wrong. So it was kind of hard to know that that was the problem. And for the first couple of days I just thought it was broken. But I, I found out that it was uh, <laughs> just because it was turned in around. So uh, that is a little annoying, uh, and again, I don't know how that's gonna like uh, affect this in here. I don't know if that can damage the parts that you use to recharge it. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's another thing. Also, these little plastic things that I think now again I am not sure for certain, but you are supposed to put it in here around the uh, uh, charging hole. That it probably has a name, but I'm not saying it right. Uh, so it can be more waterproof, but. It's not really put in that well. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong because again, I'm not qualified to talk about this shit. Uh, but I tried to put it in and carry it around in my pocket and it just falls out like nothing. If you put this in and take it diving, for example, if that's what you want to do, because it can't like uh, it can stay on the water for like two meters, I think. Like I have not tried that. <laughs> uh, this one is probably gonna fall out as soon as you hit the water. So uh, that is something you gotta be aware of. Now I am, despite being a gamer and a game collector, I don't really play a whole lot of games 
on my phone. Uh, I found like one game that I played a lot. It's a uh, Dragon Quest Tact, which is a tactical game based of the uh, Dragon Quest monsters and worlds. Which was I have so much fun playing that game these last couple of days, and <laughs> I played it probably a little too much. But despite that, uh, it, it, it ran fine. Like even after like spending like almost an hour in in the game, it still ran. Perfectly, no problems, uh, even a low battery and everything like that. So yeah, I have not really tried a whole lot of other games than that, but it seems to run fine. <laughs> and I, again, I don't know how gaming on a phone is supposed to be, <laughs> but it, the, the picture is lovely and clear, and the animations come out smooth and nice. So uh, that's that. I can definitely feel that uh, this phone has a lot bigger battery than my old phone. Uh, usually, when I uh, I use this for like a GPS in my phone in my car when I drive to work and uh, as well as uh, plug it in to play audio like music or podcasts that I listen to uh, and usually when I get to work I'll already use like 20% of power from my old phone here it's probably like less than 12% power and when I get home from work I usually have like around 30 uh, I have at least under 40% of power, sometimes a little more than 30, sometimes a little more than 20. It's, it varies a little because I don't use my phone that much on work, uh, except sometimes. But <laughs> uh, that's when I need to do it, some calculations with it and then, then it, the power is probably very, very low when I come home. But that's not all the time. This one I tried and it still has like at least 60%, even on the day when I have to do some a lot of calculation and use the uh, calculator a lot. Uh, it still had 60% power when I got home from a 12 hour day, so that is awesome, no problem, so uh, great battery time, even the first day when I had it, and I pretty much sat with it all the time, farting around with it and playing video games, I st it still lasted me the entire day, and it still had, uh, despite using it from morning till uh, late evening, it still had like 20% power left, so uh, it's, it's nice with a big great battery that you can use for a long time, so yeah. Now let's talk a little about the camera of the phone and as you can see it has quite a lot of cameras and uh, again I'm not a photo guy, I'm not a tech guy, this is just my random thoughts and, ide and ideas about it. And uh, yeah, I am happy with the camera, it has like a decent quality, again it, you can't expect at this price and a rugged phone that it's gonna be like the best camera ever, but it's still way better than my old camera, the, uh, the mic. Uh, seems very solid and I'm gonna show you some examples of all that So whenever I edit my videos, I enable something called enhanced video Which kind of makes the colors pop a little more, you know, the black is a little more black the red is a little more red But uh, to get you a better idea of how the picture is gonna look like on the camera of the phone I'm gonna turn that off for this next section here Now I'm gonna show you some pictures I took while I was off for a walk near the docks where I live and uh, I just walked around and uh, took a little pictures out of the water. The pictures looked fine and clear to me. And uh, I did try the zoom. The zoom is pretty great. I mean, you can zoom very, very far. But the quality is very poor. I even tried taking some pictures of some ducks. And uh, even though I didn't zoom that much, the quality was still very, very poor. But other than that, the standard pictures were really decent. I also took some pictures from my apartment of some of the... Uh, stuff I had and uh, a day after I tried to go down to the docks again uh, very very early in the morning took some video took some footage and uh, let me just show you that to compare now the reason why I went down there was to get an idea of how the night vision camera worked and how night mode worked um, the uh, night mode was uh, all right ish I mean it's not that great. I feel like the normal uh, camera mode is just as fine, almost. Um, the night vision mode, and now, now since I live in the city, it's kind of hard to get this uh, completely dark. So it's not the greatest idea of the capability of the night vision camera. But I feel like I want to show it anyway, just to get you an idea of how it looks. Now, a thing that annoys me a little is the phone seems to favor the 4x3 uh, resolution or whatever you call it. And, and you have to manually set it to 16 by 9 and even a lot of camera modes both like night mode and night vision and other modes only support 4x3 and not 16 by 9 and uh, again that's a little or quite a lot annoying honestly 
Uh, the most annoying part is also whenever you fidget around with your camera, sometimes the camera just return into 4x3 even though you changed it to 16x9, which is really, really annoying. Now, I had a lot of fun playing around with the night vision camera. Uh, in my apartment in the middle of the night, when I turn off all the light, there is pitch black. So it was really, really fun to walk around with and take pictures and also just fun to see how the night vision camera would react to different materials. Because it seems like cloth, like some cloth, if I took like my t-shirt or something, a picture of that, it could kind of recognize a pattern sometimes. I mean, I was really impressed that I could actually read uh, the back of my uh, movies or uh, game boxes when I took a picture in uh, complete black and recognized pictures on posters but my cloth posters it couldn't really my Jethro Tull uh, what do you call it my Jethro Tull scarf uh, didn't recognize a pattern on it my pillows no pattern even my Jesus Christ Superstar vinyl uh, <laughs> didn't get recognized in the nice vision mode which was, I had a lot of fun just walking around trying uh, to see what would show up on the night vision camera on different materials and uh, yeah I don't know uh, it's a really entertaining thing now the selfie camera is a little weird when I take I think it has to do with the light because when I take a picture sometimes my skin look very glossy almost like a cartoonish character and uh, it doesn't look good honestly uh, but sometimes it looks fine and clear and how you want it and uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if that's something you can uh, fix in settings or if it's just a, a light problem. But if anyone knows, please let me know because I'm clueless. I don't know shit about shit. <laughs> now let's talk a little about the video camera on the back. They seem to work great in daylight, show nice clear pictures. I tried to uh, walk around with it at some point to see how it would handle shaking. It seemed to handle it like a champ, at least compared to my last phone. I also recorded a little at night, but it doesn't look that great, so I kinda gave up on that, to be honest. I did also record something with the front camera, but it had some of the same problem with the picture mode. It has this glossy, weird glow, and uh, yeah, I also did some night recording, which again didn't turn out that great. Just hit a couple of beer bottles. <laughs> and we are trying out the selfie camera just to get an idea of how it looks under my ring light and uh, how the quality is and how the mic is without any like other noise stuff like the wind and what else is going on in the background. And uh, on the screen it looks fine, but I'm excited to see how it looks on the computer to see if it looks just as fine. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna flip it over and get an idea of how the front camera looks like. And uh, let's do that. And now we're trying out the thunder camera under the ring light. And uh, I can't see myself, so I don't know if I'm completely in the screen. I hope I am. <laughs> uh, we'll see how it is and how the audio sounds like. And uh, hopefully you get an idea of how it works if you used it to like film or record in similar settings as mine. And in my opinion, the microphone seems fine. I mean, it does not compare to an expensive microphone you buy for your camera or for like a Blue Yeti mic you buy for streaming. But it seems still really nice. And that was my thoughts on the Eulophone Armor 11, my new cool ass phone. And uh, to round up, for this price, I don't think you can do much better if you want a rugged phone with a decent camera and <laughs> at a cheap price. It is a very solid phone. It, I have like friends who have like phones that was twice as expensive and can do like basically the same, but uh, it's not able to like stand, uh, stand the test of time or like be as solid as this thing. This is like a fucking brick. A sweet ass cool looking brick. And I don't think that's is gonna <laughs> take a drop. But this can do the same. And I, and I think that's also something to do with the name of the phone, Eulophone. Sometimes, many times, brands will charge just for the name. And uh, this, these definitely don't do that. It's a great phone, great budget phone with a great camera and just the night vision it was so fun to play around with and i am so happy to have this phone and uh, yeah i think i'm just gonna end this video here and if you've been sticking through the bad english you are real hero thanks for watching and take care